Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gumbo. Hi John. Hey. Uh, you can follow John over there on our Instagram page from Milwaukee to Nashville and from Milwaukee to Nashville co-host on Twitter. You can also follow me uh, as well on our Instagram. Uh, we split time over there. Yeah. Um, and uh, me as a uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville as well on Twitter. And uh, also check out our Facebook page, YouTube, and uh, soon to be coming Snapchat. Uh, that will be during um, the hockey season it will be coming. So well, I'm going to start working on setting that up now. So with that being said, uh, check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker. 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414. 800-7585. They will outfit you with all your hockey needs. If you need your skates sharpened, they have a drop box for you. Leave some contact info. He'll get a hold of you when they're done, and you can come pick them up. Um, also, check out his website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. So, today we're here, you know, again, with the uh, AHL Arenas yep. ranking. Same as our last ranking video. Uh, our last ranking video, we gave a grade of A, B, C, or D. No pluses or minuses, because that makes things complicated. Or F. Or F. F is a fail. Yeah. So, with that being said, we're going to start off in no order. We're just giving you what we got. Yep. So, no specific order. And we're going to start with the man the most, the MTS Center. Um... From the outside, looks great. I've seen plenty of Winnipeg Jets games. Right. From the inside, it's pass. It's a, it's a B. It's an A or A it just based on AHL standards. Yeah, probably an A. Alrighty. So an A for the Moose. The White Castle of Chicago. All State Arena. Or the uh, Admiral's bitter rival, Chicago Wolves play. Also, they held a couple WrestleManias in this building. Yeah. All right. So this is where the Wolves play. Sight lines are not that great um, from when I've been there. Um, as you can see, it does look like a White Castle. Right. Um, it's a D. Just based on everything there. Um, probably a C. Alrighty. In some of these arenas, there are no photos of the outside, so we just took what we could. Right. Or they're not completed yet. Yeah. So with that being said, what do we got here? We have the Utica. Whoa. Utica. Yeah. Utica there. Memorial Arena. This is where the uh, Utica Comets. U Utica Comets play. With the circular features of the building, I can imagine it being a great place to watch hockey. Yeah. Because if you have a strike ball and you're able to look down on the game, yeah. much like we are in ours, right. you're able to see where the puck's in, in the corners and you have good sight lines. Yes, and, you can. And, and that all takes into it. I give it an A for, for for this because just based on, you know, from what I've seen of uh, videos uh, uh, from fans in Utica and stuff, uh, it looks like a great arena. Yeah, it does. Looks wonderful. Um, so with that, I give it an A. Yeah. It looks like same. a beautiful arena. Alrighty. Uh, the Abbotsford Center. There was no photo of the outside, so we had to go in. Looking from the inside, let's see here. From this sight line, doesn't look like a bad view. No. Uh, Jumbotron looks nice. Um, we welcome Abbotsford back to the AHL. Yeah. Uh, Utica moved to, uh, uh, the Vancouver moved their farm system from Utica to Abbotsford, and then the uh, Binghamton Devils are no more, so now we have the Utica. I crack jokes because they used to be the Utica Devils. Um, they may go back to that. Right. Now, right now, they're still the Utica Comets with the red and black colors, but yep. 
Uh, we'll see. Uh, the Abbotsford Center, where the former Abbotsford meet back in the back right. when, yeah. when we were in our 20s. <laughs> but it looks like a nice sight line. It I've does. never been. I probably never will because it's just so far away. Right. Uh, for an AHL game. Um, unless it's like a cup game, then I might take a sneeze at it. But um, yeah, I think that. Nice, I'll give it an A. Yeah. For the sight lines alone. Alright, we have two of this arena, so bear with us. This is the Hartford Wolf Pack. Yeah. The PPL Center, as it is currently called. Um, yeah. So this is view one. So that's one. And there's view two. The PPL Center. Yeah. Looks nice. It does. What the? They made modifications, obviously recently. Obviously recently. Yep. Um, looks nice. Looks like they covered it up very well and made it look a little modern. Um, it is the former home of the Hartford Wolfpack. Or the Hartford Whalers, sorry. Hartford Whalers. The one thing I don't like, and, and I'm going to say this, it just looks small. It does look a little small. Just based off of the buildings around it, but I don't know if it goes, like, to the other side, or, you know, right. just based off the photo, it looks yeah. small. So, um, I give it a B. Just based off of the modern update. Yeah, I'd say a B. Alrighty, now we are at... Wells Fargo Arena. Wells Fargo Arena is in, um, I believe, I want to say Adirondack, where the uh, Phantom play. The Adirondack Phantom. Or uh, Philadelphia Phantoms, or uh, Lehigh Valley. Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Uh, it, it's just really confusing. Can we just. Pick a starting name, please. <laughs> yeah. We, we've watched AHL hockey all our lives, so we've seen them all. Can we please just stick with one for now? <laughs> yeah, for, for a little while, can we stay in one city? Now, I know that Philly has talked about moving them into Philadelphia now. Right. So it's just like, huh? They want to put them in the old Sixers arena. Okay. Which is abandoned. Right. So, like, you're talking thousands of dollars in upgrades. Maybe millions. Right. So it'll be millions. Oh, man, it'll definitely be millions. All right, so there's that. I, Probably a million dollars to paint and everything these days, at least. <laughs> with this one, just the the Wells Fargo Arena alone, it, with it being iconic and classic as far as AHL history goes, right? I give it an A, just based off of it. you don't survive this long as an arena without you know look at the modern glass and right you know they they've obviously done touch-ups and stuff um so there's that yeah i'd say an a as well all right on to bridgeport connecticut whoops all right so with bridgeport one of the things about this arena that is kind of weird, like imagine, like, I'm not saying that somebody would do it. Right. But you're walking by in one of the suite areas up top, and you're at high profile, and you're walking past that glass, and there's somebody that's not particularly happy with you, and they want to take a shot at you. This is, gives them the perfect opportunity for you to not see it coming. <laughs> now, I just don't like that. I think they could have done the glass on the bottom going up to that. I think you could have made it look a lot better. Right. It just, nah. Yeah, it doesn't really blend too well. No, the, the outside view of it. Now, the inside view, I have seen some photos on the inside of this arena. It looks amazing. It does. But. It's, it's really complicated when you're talking about the architecture of a sports building. It is. Because some look like shopping malls, the others look like bowling alleys. 
Right. <laughs> so it's really talking about the architecture of, of a building. Or Sam's clubs or White Castles. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really is. You know, I mean, it, it's just different in most cases. Uh, but with them, I give them a C. Uh, that's where I was leading. I used to sit all day and draw arenas in high school. Uh, I take my notes and I draw arenas. All right, we got Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids. Yep. What a beautiful looking outside. Yes. Oh, man, that looks beautiful. And from what I've seen from watching all the years of AHL TV, me and you both. Right. It's a beautiful place to watch hockey. I've heard their fans are kind of, mm, but I, that's just what I hear. I'm, you know, I'm only, <laughs> that's what you say. Right. That's not my personal opinion. I've no. never been. I would love to go, you know, just to check out some more arenas. Me and right. you've been to quite a couple, a couple together, and, yeah. and I think we're plan, may plan on a couple more this year. Who knows? Right. Never know with us. It's like, hey, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we got the money, nothing going on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All righty. So with that one, I give it an A. I just would too. Our building. Our building, as much as I love the historic side of it, as much as I love the atmosphere, as much as I love everything we could do, I'm going to say this right now. It looks like an arena from its creation time frame. It is very outdated on the outside. And see, I don't mind with that. I like that they've kept an arena around this long. I agree. Arenas are going up left and right with millions and billions of dollars. Let's let's take that and preserve some of the older arenas. Yeah. I, be I believe to this day, now that the Bradley Center is gone, that Madison Square Garden is still the oldest arena, active arena. Um, uh, active arena, however, um, Wrigley is the older, oldest active sports venue. Okay. Because the Yankees were done. At, at, right, they made a new Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Correct. So, um, the Wrigley is the oldest active uh, sporting venue. Right. But uh, as far as arena goes, yes, Madison Square Garden is the oldest. Um, right slowly behind that is... Um, I want to say... Slowly behind it was the Bradley Center. No. I was it was built in the 80s. It was third. Yeah. Uh, Staples Center was second. Yeah. I, I mean, when we're looking at like something like this, um, the Admirals put a, a, about a good 2 to $3 million in renovations into Panther Arena. Yes, they did. It looks amazing. Um, I go for uh, the Admirals and the Wave. Um, great for both. Great for both. Um, I love both teams that play in there. Uh, you can also, if you're a roller derby fan, uh, they have the uh, Milwaukee roller derby team. Yeah. Um, and we also have uh, festivals, graduations, you name it. There's all kinds Concerts, of concerts, circus. Yeah. Panthers basketball. Yeah. And and you know, at least we don't look like a beer keg. <laughs> right. Right. Um, kind of like the one next to us. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I think that when we look at our arena, sometimes you could be a little biased. Yeah. But I would I, I would like to go ahead and say probably a C when the Admirals had to move in there. With the recent renovations, they bumped it up to at least a B. Yeah, with the recent renovations, it's a B, especially with having, you have local restaurants in there. Yep. You have the hall, the Wall of Fame uh, on the side of the building yes, there. You, do. you have the Wisconsin Sports Wall of Fame. Which is a really nice treat to have with and them. And then they have the mural of the past of the admirals and all the names, and that's a cool thing as well. Yeah, so they've all the renovations that they've done to our building, we could speak on, is is, is great. And I, I'd give it a B. I, I don't want to give it, like, a solid B because it, it still needs a few touches. Right. But it, 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 I've never had a problem. I and mean, if COVID you're in set that back a little bit. COVID set on everything. <laughs> yeah, so I give it a B. Just happy to be back for hockey this upcoming year. Yeah, I agree. All right, we've got, well, where the hell are we? This looks Tucson. like Tucson. The Roadrunners. Now, 
I'm going to give this a straight out F. Anytime you play in a building that looks, <laughs> that looks like a police station. Right, you're in the deserts. Make it, make the architecture fit the surrounding. You, you literally look like you're playing at a convention center at a state fairground. Right. I mean... Unfortunate. And, 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 and that's not particularly something you would... It's not a selling point for fans to come there. Right. Like, some people will like... I, you know, when I went to Bridgestone, one of the first things I did is I took a picture right in front of Bridgestone Arena because of the glass and the iconic right. glass work that they have going up the tower and, and, and it just so much. Like when I when I go to Rockford, I take pictures in the tunnel with all the former players and everything right. on the on the catwalk, and it, it's there's just certain things, and we'll get to Rockford here soon. So, um, I I just give it an F just based off of the architecture alone. Yeah, uh, I, I would have to. And I can't imagine the sight lines as far as it being a convention no, center being any like, better. Right, with it sitting that way, I mean, it doesn't it looks look very like it flat. Would have a good vantage point. Yeah, when you have a flat vantage point for, for like, basketball... It's great. But for hockey? But for hockey, not so much. You have to be able to look down, and that's why you I... need the sight lines. Exactly. And so that's one of the things that sit into that one. So, yeah, it, it, it's not good. All right, we're going from Tucson to Ontario, California. This was a bad photo, whoever posted this. They took it going to a Metallica concert at, what is that, Citizen Bank Arena? Yeah, looks like it. Who looks at it? Looks like a nice arena, as it far does. as arenas go. Right. Um, you know, if they'd have had a little bit more towards where the logo of the arena is, so that I could see the glass. And right. see the front and the architecture, but at least from what I can see from the architecture, it does look like an older style. Yeah, it does. It has that older style arena, which a lot of the AHL arenas do have. Right. They're not exactly new. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So with that being said, we don't know yet. But I'd give it a B. I'd give it a B too. All right. We take a quick travel from Ontario. To Stockton. Oh, what a beauty that looks like. Right. Man, I could see why uh, Calgary moved their team there. Mm -hmm. it, it looks beautiful. It does. The architecture fix, fits the area, much like the Honda Center, but right. the Honda Center needs correct or uh, a lot of updates. It w would make it look like that. Right. You know, it, it just fits the architecture with the palm trees and everything. You know, yep. you got the lake or river or oh shit yeah, or whatever yeah. right there. And, you know, that'd be a great spot. You know, to go see hockey. I I see because the the oval shapes, the spot sight line should be good. Right. Um. Now I know that when watching games from Stockton on AHL TV, they always give us the overhead view, and I uh, right. not a big fan of that, but. No. When I'm looking down at it, but Maybe for like video and tape, yeah, review that's a great vantage point. One of them, but not as a, not when you're trying to air it on. No, it's not a great place to be watching a game. And speaking of watching games, I, I give it a B. I would give it a B as well. Speaking of watching games, the SAP Center, or SAP Center, as a lot of people call it, but then you get yelled at for calling it that. Right. Um, Sharks play there. It's yeah. an NHL arena, another one of those, um, where they share with their team the San Jose Barracuda. Um, another one of those needs update. Right, it does. It, it looks like a warehouse. <laughs> it, it really does. It looks like an old warehouse. Reminds me of the of a front of a church on yeah, I mean, it's it's just weird, you know. But sometimes when these things are put in play, they go, let's see some interesting architectural designs. What do you got? Exactly. And as far as interesting architecture go, that's beautiful. I mean, yeah. It's, it's something it's, that's it's, not seen often. No. 
And it kind of looks like the old Bradley Center. Yeah. Before we put the glass in the middle. Right. Yeah. Because when we when we first opened, we didn't have like oh, the whole glass. curved. No, we, didn't. we didn't have the curved glass out front. No. No, we just had the flat flat pane that goes straight across. Yeah. Later on, we switched to the curve. And, and I think just some modern touches like that would help this arena come a long way, so I give it a C. I would give it a <sighs> Formerly the Q, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. With that being said, it looks like a Star Destroyer from Star Wars. Yeah, from this view. A lot of glass. Holy yeah, smokes. That's a lot of glass. I would hate to clean it. I would hate that. to be a window washer. <laughs> I would hate to clean it. <laughs> but thank you to all the window washers out there that wash our sports arena venues. Thank you. That's good. You're highly under, uh, uh, underappreciated, and we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, it's a beautiful arena for an NBA building. And I'm, uh, it still baffles me to how Columbus got a team in Cleveland did. Right. But to that, I give it an A, just based on I what I know of it in the yeah. past. There's a lot of places that I want to go see a game. That is one of them. On from Cleveland, we go to just outside Montreal to Bell Place, or Place Bell. Bell has their name on everything, kind of like Rogers up there. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, and Rogers is another one of those that just, they got their hand in everything. Yeah. Um, from what I've seen on the inside of it, great building. I mean, you go across the river right by this building, and right. you're in Montreal. Right. So, I mean, imagine you're playing there, you know, during a day game, and, you know, say for some reason somebody got hurt. Right. During practice. You could call somebody right after the day game. Yeah. They already got morning skated. Right. <laughs> and they go across the river and they can play in the NHL the same day. Yeah. They'll probably be tired. Right. But, you know, it's just one of those things where I think it's interesting to where this was built beautifully. It was. Uh, the, uh, the Laval Rocket play here, a uh, rocket named after Maurice Richard, who's from Laval. A beautiful town from what I've seen just historically yeah. a lot of architecture I would have always loved to see Frank Lloyd Wright build an arena <laughs> that would have just been interesting yeah but um, if he would it would probably look like this it's an A for me modern uh, yeah. everything's a. right yeah and we go from Bell Place back to California woof Am I looking at a movie theater here? <laughs> San Diego Sports like Arena. Like we said in the last video, we joke, we kid, try and make you guys have a good time as well as having a good time bringing this to you. Yeah, uh, it looks like... It looks like, looks like an indoor... It looks like an indoor drive-in. <laughs> or that too, yeah. It really does, because remember the old days where they used to put, like, the tarps over? Yeah. And, and it would have, like, that look yep. when it would rain? Right. It, that's exactly what it looked like. Right. At least they did that in the Midwest when we were kids. Right. Because we'd have drive-ins in the winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and can't have snow. <laughs> so, it, 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 it's a D for me. I would have to agree with that. All righty. Where are we going next? Good God, what is that? That's the Ignatic County War Memorial. Yes. Um, Ignatic County. Bear with me a second here. Alrighty, so Ignatic County, we had to do a little research here. Because we only have the name of the arena and where they're at. Right. But we had, it said Ignata County, and we didn't know where that was. It's in Syracuse, New York. Yep. Where the Syracuse Crunch play. Yeah. Uh, affiliate of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Which is kind of confusing. Right. But, let's get into this for a little bit. Alright, one thing. 
You look like you're playing in a courthouse. <laughs> you do. Like Milwaukee County Courthouse looks exactly just like that. Exactly like that, right? Yeah, Milwaukee County Courthouse looks just like that. I mean, it, it is. Yeah, it, it it is not good at all. I mean, this is an F if I ever saw one. It, it, it has no looks like a hockey would ever be played there. Right, it doesn't. It doesn't look that way. Like, I would be driving through the city still looking for the arena. Like, where is it? Oh, you are here. Huh? That's that's like one of those, you were here. What? I'm going to jail? <laughs> You know, that, right. uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It looks, you know, and look, we're not trying we're not to be over tr- crucial. Right. We're, we're not. But the architecture does not look to fit an arena. And that's what we're here right. for hockey. Yeah. We're not here to judge your town or anything like that. Or even the history behind this building. No. Right. no we're judging. Just pure from a hockey standpoint. And an arena standpoint. Oh, right. And arena architecture. And it just, it doesn't. I'd say a D. Yeah, is it is a D to an F if if at best it's it's there. Well, he can son. And that I believe is in Wilkesbury, Scranton, where the Penguins play. If I remember a hundred percent correctly. Wilkesbury, Scranton. Yes, yeah, Penguins. Alrighty, so with that all said, looks like a nice arena. Yeah, it does. Has a little of the old architecture with the new architecture. I do like that touch because within a building that has been around as long as this one, you do want to do some, but you don't want to do too much to where it takes away from the original. The original, um, which is probably why uh, the Bradley Center came down is they they would have had to do a lot to it and it it probably wouldn't have been worth it. Um. Uh, with that being said, uh, I give this an A. I think it's a great looking arena. Um, yeah, it's an A. Wilkesbury has had a lot of fun in that building. Uh, we we won our Calder Cup in that building. Yes, we did. So with that, I agree. I think it's an A. All right, we're in Bakersfield. Uh, oh man, their arena looks nice. It has that old, old front, like right there mm-hmm. on that left side, right. and then everything else looks modern. It even looks like they have an atrium, yeah. like right there, so that they can right. like have concerts and stuff outdoors. Like it looks really nice. I'd give it an A. I would too. All righty, moving along here. Mass Mutual Center. And uh, Springfield. Dog! Oh. <laughs> not, not that Springfield. Dog! Oh. But uh, nonetheless, um, looks like a nice arena for AHL, much like ours. Yeah. It looks very similar to ours, just more glass, more right. modern looking. I'd give it a B. I'd give it a B as well. Alrighty, on to Cedar Park, Texas, where the Texas Stars play for Texas. That is amazing. Yeah. Is that that just their architecture? Beautiful piece of architecture right there. And it, it looks like the Alamo. It has that Alamo Bowl feel. Right. You know, when, when it, it, it just beautifully done in Cedar Park, uh, Texas, and out inside Austin. Yeah. Um, they are a two, a one bowl state seating, and it's all flat down. Okay. So if you have vertigo, probably not a good idea to <laughs> <laughs> sit up high, but uh, uh, some for most hockey, that's what you want. Right. It doesn't no. matter if, you, it, it, you know, if you get a nosebleed or something, but... <laughs> Um, you know, it, it's a beautiful piece of architecture. It looks like 
um, that, you know, they got everything. If that is their parking lot. <laughs> I'd imagine there's more parking than that. <laughs> that would be a huge downfall. But might be the original parking lot. <laughs> the construction parking right. lot. Right. And they just like, oh, well, we'll make it as our office parking lot. <laughs> right. So um, that some, most AHL teams run their offices out of their either their building or built in their next to it. Yeah. For most of them. All righty. I give that an A. I would give it an A, too. One of the most iconic arenas in all of the AHL. The Giant Center. Where the Hershey... Bears play. Hey, boo boo. Now, for those of you, quick trivia question. Does anybody, down in the comments, know what the Hershey Bears, outside of hockey and outside of chocolate, are known for inside the world of hockey? Because they hold a Guinness World Record for something. So, I, I want to see if y'all know down in the comments. If y'all don't get it within the next week, I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we know what it is. You do. Yes, I do. But I, I give it an A just, I mean, look at that sight line. That's beautiful. Beautiful architecture. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, even upstairs wouldn't be bad. No. Like, there's not a bad place to sit, it looks like. There's nothing that's going to block you. You're not sitting in front of poles. Right. Dunkin' Donuts Center. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> Enough with the Simpsons jokes, but uh, Dunkin' Donuts Center to believe that that is the home of the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. If I remember, a hundred percent Providence. This is the home of the Providence Bruins. Yeah. Or the Providence Peter Griffins or Quagmires for those of you needing a joke. <laughs> um. The interesting front. architecture from the outside. It, 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 it's weird. It looks like they're missing a spot. <laughs> it's like the glass pops out here, and then goes back, and then cuts in there, and then it hooks, and then it comes back out, and then it goes down. It's like, yeah. yeah. Interesting architecture for hockey. Now, I do know that this building is a little older, so they're trying to add modern touches. This may have been during the renovation. Right. I'm not 100% sure, but I will tell you this. This looks like an old AHL arena. And yeah. for that, I give it a B. I would say a B, too. Looks like it would be a fun place to play. Yeah. All of these do, but... <laughs> All right. Currently being built. Yeah. The Henderson Dollar Loan Center. That looks amazing for Vegas. Yeah. That looks like a Vegas building. Right. I, I give it an A. I gotta give that an A. It ain't even done yet. Right. I mean, look at the logo right on the front of it. They have it, that is, building is made just for hockey. That's it. It is. Yeah. That is gonna be the uh, as well as the Golden Knights practice facility now. They're gonna practice at their age old arena. Let's see how well that floats over for a while. All righty. But I give it an A. I would too. Up next, we've got the Rico Coliseum. Looks like an old theater. An old theater. The. Watch this. We're going to find out where it is. And I'm going to do it while on camera. All right. This is where the Toronto Marlies play. It's the old uh, Toronto Center. Yeah. The, the, the old one back in, in the 60s. Right. Where the Leafs play. That looks nice for that. Yeah. I mean, they've done well upkeeping it. I mean, it could use a fresh coat of green <laughs> and some modern, but other than that, I can't knock history. Right. It's got a lot of it. 
So with that, I give it an A. I would too. Just off the history alone. All right, Palm Springs. Interesting Whoa. architecture. Palm Springs, California. Yikes. This is Seattle's upcoming. Yes, or, they will uh, be starting AHL's in 2022-23. Okay. So, uh, next year, not this upcoming season, but the next one. Yeah. Um, ought to be interesting. Um, I'm wondering how much the the beams and arches are holding. Are probably going to cost to build. But, a lot. But, I'm going to say this. I'm going to give it an A for one reason. It looks a lot like Seattle's building. It does. And that makes it worth it. Yeah. Because when you can make your building look like your NHL building, and, and, and it still has that minor league hockey look. Right. So it, it look and, and the architecture of it looks amazing. If I ever go to California during the wintertime, I'm going to want to hit up all these arenas. <laughs> right. You know, and then might as well shoot up to Seattle, check out what they did to, was that Key Bank Arena back in the day? I believe so. So with that, I, I, I think it's a day. I, I don't know from the inside yet. I mean, all we have is a as a rendering for the outside. They have no rendering for the inside at all. Right. All righty. Moving on here. The CAA Arena. This was in, t this photo was taken in 2019. What's your thoughts so far? This is where the Bellevue Senators play. I'm going to try to get off the jump. I've watched a couple Bellevue Senators games. This is a is an F arena from the inside, and from the outside it is a D. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. It, it, it looks like we're the going... It looks like we're going to Wilson Park. Like going to like a practice rink or right. where me and you would go to skate for fun. Right. You know, um, just not a fan. Uh, I'd say a D. Budweiser Event Center. A. A. Colorado Screaming Eagles. All right, now let's see if I can do the next one without laughing. Because every time I do this arena, I always end up laughing. Bojangles Coliseum. <laughs> it looks... Looks like a carnival ride, I'm not going to lie. Remember those old UFO rides that yeah, spun that's around? that's what it looks like. It looks just like that. Actually, it looks like the UFO that's in Seattle. The little thing that they use for, uh, what was that, uh... What, the World's Fair? No, uh, Men in Black. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Which was always confusing because how the heck they got from New York to Seattle like that. Right. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. <laughs> but I, I give it a B just off of the architecture. Yes, it's definitely unique. It's unique? Okay. Right. Now here's a building me and you have experience with. Yeah. Rockford. One of the things about Rockford that's very interesting is, and me and you've said it, right. is, is when you go there to watch a game, there's not really a bad seat. There's, there's a couple places that are not really good sight lines. Right. But... They have standing room, so it works itself out, and yes, you it don't does. like that. If you don't like your seat, there is standing room behind another net. Right. And, you know, yeah. It, it, it's a nice arena, good food, fair pricing. Yeah. I've never had a problem there. Uh, parking, they have cover, because we do live in the Midwest, so there's snow. Right. There's all kinds of weather. Great. I, I think it looks, it's a good arena. I, I give it a B just been there in the snow and ice. I went sliding down their sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't, wasn't that pushing you so you didn't yeah. fall? <laughs> Way back when PC Labrie, Derek Army played. Yep. For us. Yep. yep. Uh, we, uh, that was a know, good trip. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, good restaurants around the yes, city. Yes, there are. Um, 
Rockford, very welcoming people. Yep. Um, I've never had a problem there with people. Our fan base may go back and forth, them being a rival, but great, it's people, front, great a friendly rivalry. When we're, yes. when, when we're in the building, it's game on. When, we're, right. when you go out, say, a smoking section, or you're leaving, they're the nicest people. They're the nicest people in the world. So, um, hi, Ruth, Bessie, Nate, and all you guys that uh, support me. Uh, us uh, as well. Yep. We got Rockford fans who do support us, and thank you to thank them you. so much because, you know, we do cover. We give unbiased, and yeah, and you know, um, we have a mutual hatred for another team in Illinois, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably makes it easier on all of us. Right. But I give it a I give it a B. All right. On the last but not least, we're the Rochester American. Let's blow this up a little bit. Whoa, a little too big. Extreme close up. Whoa. Alrighty. Game on. <laughs> Game on. Alrighty. With this, I give it a I give it an A just based on the architecture. You mix old with the new. And you did mix old with the new there. And just, you did it perfectly. Yeah, you did. Blended very well together. I'll give it an A as well. Blue Cross Arena. I mean, you couldn't even even their name is Cherry. Right. It's. You can't beat that. Um, I, I think that's great. Uh, this has been our arena grading video. For the AHL. For the AHL. Um, next week we will be shooting a ECHL home jerseys. Um, unless we decide to do it today. Uh, that's up in the air still. Hopefully we can get these done. But if it doesn't fit into our schedule, we still got three more coming for you. Yeah. And we have a live video that will be up before all these with news and updates. Yep. So those are all coming. Alrighty. See y'all later.